Well, hey everyone, uh, Richard here and back with stuff we can do in Excel. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at the data analysis tool pack and use it to create a histogram. Uh, so the first thing we need to think, talk about is what is a histogram? Uh, if you recall, a histogram is a very special kind of bar chart, but what it does, it gives us a count of how many items are in each range of the data. So how many items are in the 1 to 10s, how many in the 10 to 20, how many in the 20 to 30 group. It's a, so it's a count. It gives us a, a demographic breakdown of how our data is distributed. Now, uh, let's go look and see how we might create one of these things. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little work on our data um, prep work. So first thing I want to do is is I don't have these data names range these data ranges named yet. I'm going to do that first. So I'm just going to simply highlight this whole range of data, and I'm going to go up to formulas, and I'm going to click on create from selection. And when I do that, it's going to allow me to create use the top row to create my names. I'm going to hit OK, and you'll notice that now. I've got the names of each one of my columns. So I can refer to sales for all my sales data, year for all my years, cost of goods sold for my cost of goods sold data, etc. So that's very useful to me. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to convert it into a table by clicking there, going to insert, and clicking on tables. I do have headers, so I'll click on that. And now we have uh, a table with all of our data in it. And that's going to be a little more useful to us. Uh, there's a couple of ways to create a histogram. Uh, we're going to focus on using the data analysis tool pack, which is really a, a great way to do this. But I want to show you another way we can do it uh, within Excel. So if we go up to the insert category, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the sales data. And when I highlight the sales data, I'm now going to go to insert. And I'm going to go to recommended charts and, and click the, just click on that. And it's going to drop it down. I'm going to go to all charts. And it's going to give me a, an option of doing a histogram. It's, old, it's down near the bottom. Mine's fifth one from the bottom. I don't know where yours might be. And I'll click on histogram. And you see that's what it's going to look like is a bar chart like that. And I hit OK. And it's going to give me these bars. One of the things I want you to notice about this chart is it predefines the ranges for me. It starts at the lowest one, which is 13,604. It goes up in $2,000 uh, increments and all the way up to 23,604. So I've, and I can, if I right click, I can show my data labels. And I've got eight within the first 2009, and it's 15,604 to 17,604. 23 in this next range, 5 and 1. Now that's useful to me, I suppose. Um, but what if I didn't want these ranges? What if I wanted different ranges in here? I can't really do that with this tool. This tool is going to pre-select my range for me, and, and I don't really want to do that. I'd really rather have it very simply um, do the ranges I want it to do. So there's a couple things we have to do. First, let's get rid of this. We're going to go use the data analysis tool pack. So the first thing we have to do is create the bins that we want to put these things in. So if bin 1, uh, bin 2, bin 3, I'm going to create several bins here. I don't like bin bond 4, it's bin 4. Bin 6, bin 7, bin 8, and bin 9. Now I'm going to go up in the $2,500 increments. Um, now here's what's interesting. I'd like to go into a bin 10. Oh, why not? Bin 10. And uh, so I don't have to define the bottom and the top. I only have to define the top of the range because the data analysis tool pack will backfill that to the beginning of the range based on where the other range um, uh, stops. Or, okay, so, so I'm going to first put in, let's go up in 20, groups of 2,500. So I'm going to go uh, uh, 2,500, uh, and then 5,000, 7,500, whoops, 10,000. And I'm just going to keep going up in uh, 2,500 increments. Whoops. And just to be safe, let's go all the way up to 30. I've got actually 12 bins. Now, once I've got my bins defined, I can now go do my, I use my data analysis toolbox. So I'm just going to click anywhere in my data table. I'm going to go up to data and I'm going to pick my data analysis tool pack over here on the right, upper right, and click that. And it's going to open up this dialog box. I want to use a histogram. And so I'm going to click on that. And it's going to ask me a couple of things. It wants to know my range of my data. So I'm going to type in sales. And it's going to want to know where my bins are. And my bins right now are in H3, 
uh, 14 through H. It looks like 24. Now I'm going to pick, I've got some options that I want to do. I want to put in labels. Yeah, let's put in the labels. Do I want, what's my, what kind of range do I want? I, I want a new worksheet is where I want to put it. Um, uh, so we'll put it on a new worksheet. And I'm going to use the chart output here down at the bottom. So I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to create for me my histogram. And it's got it in the in the in the the bins that I define, so I can define where I want my bins. I can tell I've got nothing in the twelve thousand five hundred dollar bin. Uh, I've got uh, some in now. If I want to know how many, I just go right click and hit the add labels. And I say I've got seven in the fifteen hundred. Uh, that, that range with, that stops at 15,000. Uh, eight in the range that stops at seventeen five. Uh, twenty seven in the range that stops at twenty. Uh, up, uh, up to 25, I got two, and up to 25,000, I have one. I have nothing uh, above 25,000 and nothing uh, below 12,500. So that's going to be a nice uh, histogram for me, and I can sort of tell where my data is and how it's distributed. It gives me a nice picture of that so I can see if anything's uh, grouped particularly in any, any one category. And here we can see it is. It helps us to define perhaps how we might want to um, uh, uh, segregate our data. What, what kind of stratifications might we want in our data? I'd certainly probably want to put all these in one category. So I might have, any, have anything be below 17,500 and anything above 17,500 in two separate uh, uh, strat strata there in, for when I'm doing my data sampling. So anyway, a uh, real helpful tool. Hopefully you can find this useful in your work.